So I was just browsing some comments, right, in on the testing academy, and there was a very important question, and I have noticed this question multiple times. The question was simple, which was, "Promo sir, we are basically jumping into the software testing world. We are jumping into the development world. We want to basically move to a DevOps, right? But which laptop we should buy? What should be the configuration, right? Tell us about from your experience when you have used Windows machine, when you have used a Linux based machine, when you have used the Mac machine. So in this video, I'm gonna basically talk about a very short video where I will basically give you how and which OS or which laptop that I am using currently I have used in past and as a fresher if you're a fresher if you have one two three experience right which OS or laptop that you can use especially in, in a point of view where if you want to do some kind of development software testing or automation if you want to run right you have this doubt what is the ideal configuration or what is the minimum configuration that we can have right so let's get started with this right I know uh, this is very very old debate right where which one we should do MacBook or Windows which one right so first of all section one let's discuss about it macbook right? let me tell you a very important point okay i have started with the multinational company right they will only give you a windows based machine right the ideal configuration i think if if you are a fresher with the ideal configuration right now it can be 8 gb of ram and 512 gb of hard disk right uh, if you are basically buying a ssd which is solid state drive right if i believe which are fast in nature then it is good right but if you are buying the normal hard disk right that is also like 512 is minimum that you can basically buy right now right which one i think it's an ideal configuration right now but see what happens is that sometimes what happens after some time right you have to run your automation you have seen most of the product based company so when i have started i was using windows based machine same 8 gb of configuration 512 hard disk that's it that was it and the processor i think we were using i5 at the time and that was working perfectly still it works perfectly in this case right so again so which one you should choose you should choose a macbook or windows machine i think if you are just getting started out windows machines are fine i have seen especially when I, when you join a product based company right they will always give you a macbook i'll tell you what is the main reason for this like the main reason for macbook is the development is so so amazing i mean i am using macbook for last i think 7 plus years right it is amazing and the performance that macbook gives right it is not up to the windows windows what i have seen is that after some time windows machines are i mean what i don't know what happens but the os that we generally use right windows 10 or 11 right they generally degrade after some time but this is what i have not noticed especially related to mac os's that we have right so this is what the oh, ideal belief is so if you're just starting out start with windows after some time you can switch to if you have a budget right switch to macbook uh, of course if you're getting a macbook from your company that is fine but again if you're buying macbook for your personal use or for specially learning these software testing running automation then again it's up to you which one you want to use right if you have a budget go ahead with the macbook i mean this is that is like a straight choice if i have to give you right now suppose you have three four years experience and you want to get laptop for you for purpose for okay promoter i want to learn right this is not related to my company go with the macbook trust me you will love it okay so again macbook air is fine i mean uh, if you have a budget one and a half lakh or one where it is starting range where it, you can start it out but again if you are a budget user go to amazon i'm going to show you like how you can do that right uh, this is uh, amazon.com go with that search for laptop there is a budget right so go with the 40,000 to 50,000 okay, again 30,000 to 40,000 is low the configurations are low and the uh, laptops are not good to be honest so for example we have asus uh, vivo book which is uh, almost like 12 gen we have 8 gb and 5 5 12 ssd right this is what exactly you need to do so ssd it's good because it's a solid uh, solid state drive which is fast as compared to the normal ssd that we have right so this configuration works very well it has pre-installed windows 11 which is again office 21 is available and it weighs around 1.7 so windows machine if you're looking for that right this is the ideal configuration that you can have it has full hd so 40,000, i think it is amazing deal that you can get it right you can go with hp asus i have tried both of them works very well i generally prefer still prefer hp as compared to the other companies i don't know why but this is my personal recommendation okay so this is all about and uh, one important question which is uh again people are asking multiple times right for automation especially learning automation running automation locally right which one you should prefer i always prefer a mac machine as compared to windows this is what my belief is mac is fast development is fast most of the things are already installed right there are number of utilities available in mac 
for example brew is available it's similar things are available in windows also so there is no negotiation but again if you are looking for a more performance macbook is again my recommendation in this case okay so i have showcased you how if you if you are looking for a windows machine asus hp 8gb 5 is the ideal choice for you right and if you are looking for a macbook i think air start with air basic version start one that is fine with you which will basically help you to run your automation definitely right i hope this is clear now so as a software tester guys if you are starting out please please uh, take my advice i have given you the both way right start with the windows machine if you don't have a budget if you have a limited budget go start with that if you are getting something if you are joining a product based company or getting a macbook out there that is amazing if you are buying after like 3 years 4 years when you have a enough budget go with the macbooks that's the super important thing that i can give you right so thanks a lot for watching i hope you have liked i hope now it is clear for everyone right i have given example from the freshers and experienced person also right thanks a lot for joining and uh, if you are existing subscriber thanks a lot for joining in if you are new one consider subscribing i create videos around software testing test automation and more things and productivity right i'll see you in the next video bye bye